Gents, I just want to pause the episode for a moment to let you know about the Strong Men of Value Academy. You will have heard me refer to it a number of times and I want to bring more attention to it. So this isn't just a program. It's a life-changing environment and community of men who are focused on personal and professional growth. We're looking at areas of relationships, wealth and health, things to help you thrive and maximize your life. Imagine having bi-monthly one-on-one coaching sessions with myself, weekly group coaching calls, and an incredible brotherhood of high achievers by your side. Now we're diving into resilience, leadership, and holistic growth to not just succeed in your career, but to thrive in your health and your relationships. Your journey to greatness, it starts here. So join the movement and you can apply for the Strong Men of Value Academy. You can head to the man that can project.com to find out more. The Man That Can Project podcast, a podcast empowering career-driven men to live more fulfilling lives. We are here to challenge your beliefs, redefine success, and talk about the important stuff in a relatable way. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. My name's Lockie Stewart. Let's get into it. Have you ever considered this when you're thinking about social media and maybe even why I post so much? People wonder why I really enjoy social media. And I remember listening to Gary Vaynerchuk a few years ago and he goes, isn't it so exciting that we now have a way that we can document our lives so that one day our children can see us growing up? And there was a moment where I was thinking, actually, I couldn't give two shits. But then I thought about, hey, how cool would it be if I could just jump on YouTube or even a podcast and I could see my parents... Uh, living their life like you know as much as you sit down and get to chat with people about it there's so much that's missed and I believe that um, you know for me personally I'm so excited that I've heavily documented through photos through audio through video uh, that one day my children will be able to go through and just see my own growth my own journey and where I was at in my life so that I hope a lot of the lessons and experiences and vulnerability that I shared really empowers them through their uh, upbringing, uh, which is something that is very exciting and something that I thought about. And just before I dive into today's episode, we're, um, we're talking about three gifts that you can leave, or as Jim Rohn talks about, three treasures that you can leave. Uh, that was one thing that I was thinking about. And I was reading a book yesterday uh, on the way back from a Bucks party. So it was an audio book, so listening. And I was just like, wow, this, this really needs to be shared with people because it just highlights uh, what I guess, treasure two or gift two is, which is um, books. And I'll talk about more of that in a second. But for those who don't read and for those who don't take photos and the various other things, challenge yourself on that. It may be a belief that you want to uphold, but it may also be a belief that you've never really challenged before or never taken a different perspective on it. And uh, hopefully some of these things today will really empower you to look at it a little bit differently and potentially I leave a leave something else to your legacy. So, let's talk about those three ch- treasures, right? The first one was record your events, and the way I look at it is for me, f- photos and videos, right? Photos speak a thousand words. It captures your uh, facial expressions, what was going on around, and it really helps people uh, put things into perspective. As much as you're, unless you're a brilliant storyteller, which you know I wouldn't consider myself, and I always leave a lot of detail out. A picture and go, hey, look at this. And then someone else can go, wow, it looked really cold there. It looked, geez, that's a nice beach. And then who were you with there? And it really captures those moments, right? It really helps set memories in stone forever. And I think that's um, pretty cool. And I guess something for you to think about is imagine if your parents could give you thousands of photos of their life, you know, who they were hanging out with, the experiences that they got to have. It'd be awesome to look at that and just even use a photo as like, hey, mum or hey, dad, you know, look at this photo. Tell me more about some of the experiences that were going on at this time. And it really rejigs those memories. And like I said, I'm very excited because I use <laughs> use social media and I document a lot of stuff to be able to share and have those conversations in the future. Uh, so that first point, that first gift that you can really add on to your legacy or that first treasure is recorded events, right, from moments frozen in time. So whether it's photos, videos, audio, uh, there's definitely a lot of stuff to think about there. Number two, books. I am looking right behind me as I'm recording this and I've got a pretty decent library. 
uh, not to brag, but I've only accumulated that since 2014. So it's 2022, 88. And I've read those and that doesn't include all the audio books and the books that I have on my Kindle. And what I'm very excited about is a lot of these books have had so much influence on who, the man that I've become, why I have certain beliefs, why uh, I run my company, uh, relationship advice. It's, it's helped me understand finances. It's helped me um, you know, just change so many things in my life from leadership to communication, uh, which is very, very cool. And what's very exciting is the compound effect of that. So not only does it stop with you, right? it doesn't stop with me. When I have children, I will be able to just gift them a library full of information. And within a book, you know, generally people have spent years of research, education, and money to put it into a, you know, a nice, generally 300 page book. And you can get that for 20 bucks. That's flipping mind blowing. And I'm going to be able to pass that on uh, to my children. So definitely. Think about this, guys. If you, and I heard uh, Jim Rohn was actually saying in this audio books, generally all uh, people who have net worths of over two hundred thousand or over, earn over two hundred thousand dollars a year have libraries in their house. And there's a reason for that because readers are leaders. So if you're not reading, there might be a cheeky little tip for you there. Start growing your library and don't just buy books and sit it on the shelf. Read them, implement what you learn, challenge them. Okay, it's a, it's a really powerful thing because there's so much that you can learn from that that's going to change your life, it's going to change your health, your relationships, your finances, your mindset, and it's there for you. So number two is books. So build that bookshelf and you'll be able to pass that on to someone in your life as well eventually, which is pretty cool. Finally, your journals and notepads. As a result of all the stuff that I uh, personally read, you take notes, right? You, you summarize it, you put it into your own uh, words, you maybe relate it back to experiences that you've had in your life. And one of the cool things, and I personally don't do this, but when I heard this yesterday, I was like, hmm, I'm going to start doing this, is keeping your diary. So I do have a few diaries that I've written. Uh, and when I say diaries, it's just all the stuff that I take, a notepad essentially. Uh, I've probably got, just looking at I think I've got f- about six. Uh, I've definitely lost a few and thrown a few out. But uh, the, the purpose of keeping those notepads, because it's your own notes, Right, the way you interpreted things, your impi- your opinions, your perspectives, your beliefs, even your experiences, and having that on the bookshelf and being able to go back and read that once again, much like having photos and videos, you get to read um, your own experiences, your own thoughts at any given point in your life, which is awesome. And I guess the perfect real life example of this is Matthew McConaughey's book Green Lights. That whole book was written and it was such a success. It still is a success and it's a bloody brilliant book. But from his journals, from his diaries, he's just taken parts and really helped give lessons from his own experiences. And I think for all of us, that's such a powerful tool to be able to use because every experience that you have, there is lessons to be learned. And the fact that you can then pass that on to someone, you know, whether it's children, family, friends, whatever that looks like for you, it's pretty bloody cool because, you know, every experience that you've had, I think of it like this, right? I was having a conversation with someone uh, over the weekend at a Bucks party and we we're thinking about <laughs> generally, um, you know, we all make mistakes in our early, tw- all through life, but let's just focus in on in our early 20s. Made a lot of dumb mistakes. And people can, you know, continue to keep that connected to who they are, their identity now, their identity as who they are today. Or they can go, look, I didn't know any better at that point in time. I was doing the best that I could with the information that I had. But I have now learned from that. And moving forward, I'm not going to choose to act that way. I'm going to act better. And being able to, you know, if I I would love, 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 love to be able to have access to um, listening what my dad was writing in his diary or journals or notepads, or even a podcast, I would just love to be able to tap into him in his 20s, in his 30s, in his 40s and 50s. I think that would be so fucking valuable. And, you know, I know as as men, right, we think that we're the only one going through a lot of the stuff that we experience in life. And that is complete bullshit. And you're probably starting to realize that more the more you listen to the podcast. But it's the same for every other bloke in your life or every other person in your life, we're all going through very similar things. And the more we uh, document and share our experiences, I think it's going to be very powerful for the next generation moving through. It's just, you know, 
a summarized version of our own worldview and experiences, which is pretty bloody cool. So gents, I want to challenge your beliefs out there. If you don't believe in videoing, filming, auditory, and you know, a lot of people hold may think, I'm only doing that if I'm building a brand or I'm only going to do that if it's to monetize or for business. No, 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 no. You would have heard me on previous podcasts mention why I started the podcast. I started the podcast because I wanted to learn to speak better. I wanted to be able to ask better questions. And it's grown into what it is today as a result of that. But it was, yeah, it probably was around three years ago when I heard that Gary Vaynerchuk interview and he mentioned, hey, how cool would it be if you could listen to your parents' lives through audio, video, photos uh, better than we could have? And we now live in that time in history where we all have access to being able to do that. So it's pretty bloody cool. So something to think about that there's three real treasures there that you can leave as an add-on or as a legacy to your children. And as I've mentioned, I'm very, very excited uh, to be able to pass a lot of my learnings and all the investing in myself that I'm doing and understanding onto the next generation because I believe it's going to help them leapfrog where we are today. And that's what we want, right? Really, we want to just leave the world, people in a better position and situation than what we came into. And I think this is a great, great way to be able to do that. If you got value from this, please share it on your social medias. Also, leave a review. Spotify is now doing reviews. You can leave it there, but we've also got a heap of Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, reviews and ratings. So, I really appreciate it when you take the time to do that. And until we meet next week, have a rip a week, take ownership, take responsibility and continue to put your best foot forward. Thank you for listening to the Man That Can Project podcast. My name is Lockie Stewart and I hope you enjoyed this episode and found it helpful. If you did, please take a moment to rate and review the Man That Can Project on your favorite podcast platform. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with our newest episodes. We'll see you again next time.